Uh, new from Olivia Rodrigo, that is Vampire. And Rachel, Rachel, um, for a Pundlin suggestion, uh, she's gone for a Spice Girl. Which one is it? Emma Grunting. Now, Midnight Mastermind. Okay, the spotlight's on me. I'm in the black swivel chair of destiny, ready to face the music once more. Haven't actually faced any questions for five days. How did Phil do yesterday? He got two out of three on Friends. Yeah, and what did he do the day before? He uh, got one right on a subject that I can't remember. <laughs> okay, so one and a two. Let's see how I do this morning. Uh, we should find out first who's asking me the question. So good morning. What is your name? Hello, my name is Miranda Dybal. Miranda, where are you in the world? I'm in Hayward's Heath in Sussex. Lovely. Any good at puns? Uh, yeah, I've got a pun. Go on. Okay. Courtly love. Very. See, that's two. That's two in one. Two in one. Whoa, though. my word. That's brilliant. <laughs> uh, so, the Miranda, what are we doing? What's the specialist subject? Okay, it's Britpop in Camden Town, London in the 1990s. Oh, wow. Specifically in Camden? In Camden Town. Okay. I theoretically, and I've said this sort of thing before, Miranda, should do all right because it wasn't long after the 90s that I worked in Camden Town at MTV. So, theoretically, Theoretically, I should do all right, but I will, as always, do some research. Three questions on Britpop in the 90s in Camden after this. Music's still going. Let me just write this last bit down. Ah, I've run out of time. Oh, let me just write that down. Uh, OK, so we are doing, I think this is a great subject, we are doing Camden Britpop in the 90s. Uh, Miranda, you sort of told us why before, but tell us again. Why are we doing this as your subject? OK, I lived in Camden Town in the 90s and I was quite involved with the scene at the time. Um, not so much the big guys like Oasis and Blur and Pulp, but I was involved with the lesser known bands like My Life Story and David Devant and his spirit wife. I did the first website for My Life Story, which was in 1996. So, uh, yeah, I was I was sort of involved in the scene, sort of on the edges of it in those days. Are you, do you still live around Camden now? No, no, no. I live in Sussex now. Oh, right. Of course you said. Yeah, this was when I was a student doing my my degree. uh, Yeah, because I I knew nothing of it. I'd never lived in London. And I went from a small local radio station to working at MTV and VH1. And I was sort of parachuted into those buildings, which are in Camden Town. It was the previous TVM buildings, like really iconic. And I sort of, I went sort of from nothing, from like a very small radio station to this insane place, which Camden was at the time, although it was a little Mm. bit later. But what was amazing, I always found about Camden was, yeah, it was sort of surrounded by a lot of money, but there was always an edge about it. There was always an edge, whether it was musically or otherwise. Definitely was then. Less so now. Has um, it has it gentrified? I definitely say so. Yeah. yeah, yeah. It's not. It still had that kind of like slightly edginess to it in the nineties. It was a little bit dirty, a little bit dangerous, uh, and yeah, a load of musicians just flooded into the place. I mean, it's always been a music place going back to the sixties and before that. Um, but I, yeah, it is. It is. A subject that I'm very interested in. Oh no, absolutely! And these walking tours. How can we do these walking tours? These sound great. Okay. It's an audio tour, so you can do it anytime you want. It's um, you download it to your phone via an app called Voice Map, okay. and then you can listen to it through GPS. And as you're walking, it will just give you directions. So you just follow. I'm kind of like the tour guide for it, really, and I just sort of tour people around different landmarks. Relating to Britpop. Oh my word! I need to get myself back to Camden to do this tour. Yeah, you, I really, you don't I really... have to be in Camden. You can do it also virtually using Street Map. Oh, or Street View. of course. So, yeah, some people did that during lockdown. What a good way of doing it. What a good way of doing it. Yeah, they followed it on Street View. Yeah. Um, I love all of this. Well, let's see how I do here, Miranda. I shall set the mood. Midnight Mastermind, which I've now done. Miranda, Radio Two is all yours. Three questions on Britpop in the nineties. Take it away. You're in charge. Hey, number one, the Good Mixer pub is the place where someone reportedly told Graham Coxon of Blur that his music was nice, but his clothes were not. Who was it? So um, he used a much swearier word to describe his clothes. Nice music, shift face clothing. Um, It was Noel Gallagher. Yeah, you're right. That was an easy one, wasn't it? It was an easy one, yeah. The Good Mixer, (laughs) if I remember rightly, was opposite, if I'm thinking, it was opposite MTV, wasn't it? Yes, yeah. And it used to, because when I was there, I I swear it turned into a metal pub by this point, by the time I got to Camden. 
was it? Okay. I think I'd left Camden at that point. But yeah, yeah it, I mean, it's still a great pub. It's still yeah. going. So Love it. Okay. It's on the tour. <laughs> Good start. Let's go with question two. Okay. Which NW1 park does Damon Orban describe the views so nice in the song for tomorrow? Which NW1 pub does he describe? Park. Uh, sorry, park. Park, park, park. 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 No, park. Yeah. No, you did say park. Um, it would be... Oh, what would be NW1? I'm trying to think what the parks are around there. It would be... Oh, Regent Park. No. No! Highgate! No. No! no. Oh, of course. I never... Take ve- I never... to Primrose Hill. <laughs> Great shout. The song for tomorrow, the Blur song. Uh, good shout. Let's go final question. Okay. What's the name of the early 90s Camden club night where Britpop was said to be born? Was it Supernova? No. No. Okay. I, what was it? I don't know what it's called. It's blow up. Okay, and that was at the Mole Tree. Oh, do you know? I I have actually written that down. I did actually write that <laughs> down, which means pathetically, after me giving it the big old start, it's a one out of three. The booze are for me, not for you, not for the walking <laughs> tour. Um, but that was great. That was great for you. Great Brit pop song. Go on. Oh gosh, that's a really, really probably pulp. Common people. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah, my wife was a massive fan of Suede and never never tires of boring me with the fact that Suede started Britpop, allegedly. Yeah, uh, with the and Anderson was from Hayward's Heath. Yeah, he was, he was. <laughs> yeah. I was always so... jealous of his hairstyle. Um, <laughs> Miranda, that was amazing. Remind us again where we can find the walking tour. OK, so if you just look up Britpop Camden tour online you'll find it just search it and um you can go on voice map the app and find it on there as well Will do. just rip up camden audio tour. love it and i shall do that if i can't get to camden i will do that remotely um miranda thank you so much thank you for taking the time that's fine thank you love that great questions from miranda there if you would like to be part of midnight mastermind ask me questions on anything at all then just drop me a message an email to oj at bbc.co.uk Millions of vows were called